Howdy there, partners. Video James here. Now, before we start this big old compilation, I want to take a minute and talk to you about one of this old cowboy's favorite things in the world. You guessed it, multi-platform space RPGs. I'm talking about Hokai Star Rail, a new multi-platform space fantasy RPG from Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. This cross-platform, free-to-play game has got some mighty fine turn-based combat, gorgeous cutscenes, and vivid characters that make me feel like I'm in one of them big-time Hollywood movies. Speaking of characters, take a gander at Jing Yuan. Now he may look laid back, but I got a feeling he's up to something big. I mean, just check out his ultimate skill. Jin Yuan from Honkai Star Rail is out now. Mosey on down to the pinned comment and link in the description to download the game and try them out yourself. And don't forget to use this code for 50 stellar jades. Now, on to the compilation. Yeah! And remember, winners don't use drugs. <laughs> Up top! What? Up top! Yeah, your powers come from drugs. Not drugs. It's a super soldier serum, okay? There's a difference. Vision? Drug, a substance that has a physiological effect when introduced into the body. You are a drug-powered man. Ergo, you are not a winner. Come on, it's my superpower! It was like your armor. I built this armor while I was being tortured in a prison camp, okay? You got pumped full of steroids by some government scientist. Uh, yeah. For America. Guys, I'm not really comfortable having a user on the team. All in favor of booting Cap? I Affirmative. You know what? I don't need you guys. I don't need anyone. I just need my precious, precious serum. Later, narcs. Ugh. God, he sucks more than the Vision. Hey, Hawkeye sucks way more than I do. Shut up, Vision. You're... nobody... shut up. Look, if we're gonna beat Loki, we need to work together. Uh, Vision? What are you doing here? Just acting in this scene from the Avengers movie with you. You know that movie. How about us? The Avengers. Vision! You're not in this scene. That's okay. I'll just hang out here until you need me. Uh, you're not... you're not in the movie. How about that? At least you told me personally. It would have sucked to... oh, I don't know. Have seen it on Ain't It Cool News this morning. By myself. Look, we, we totally would have cast you, but... But we had to bring on Thor and the Hulk, and we kind of r ran out of space. That's understandable. Well, if something opens up, please let me know. Oh, look. I think something just opened up. Jesus Christ, dude! You killed Hawkeye! Oh, no. Not Poe and Arrow guy. Boo-hoo. Whoever will replace him? Oh, wait. I know. How about that super strong flying laser robot? Oh yeah, let's make a movie, motherfuckers. Scene 7, Vision and Scarlett Johansson totally making out for a little bit. Uh, Vision, I'm not sure- Can we get Scarlett to set, please? I am Magneto, master of magnets. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were the X-Men. <laughs> oh, sorry. I am an X-Man! Uh, yeah, sure. Listen, you're clearly new on this asteroid, but I kinda know the X-Men personally. We're pretty tight. Cyclops, Wolverine, Storm... And me! Dazzler! Right! Dazzler! Oh, oh, sorry, totally spaced on your name. How are you? I'm Magneto, by the way. We've met before. Cool, cool, yeah, glad they brought you along. Uh, so, are we just waiting for, like, Wolverine to catch up, or...? I told you, it's just me! Hey, do you da think Wolverine would mind calling me Bub? Just, just once? Oh god, I'd love that. Oh, I'd love that. I told you, he's not coming. Neither is Cyclops, Colossus, Storm, or Nightcrawler. It's just me and my dazzling powers. <laughs> They're... they're not coming? No! <laughs> oh, what? Come on. Why wouldn't they come? I, I built this whole asteroid, and, and I threatened humanity and kidnapped Xavier? Why, why don't they think I'm cool? That's not it. They're just really busy with, um, danger room stuff. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I'm not the master of magnet. I am the master of idiot. Idiot. <laughs> idiot. Hey, I showed up, didn't I? You must be a little cool. Really? You think so? Totally. Well, at least Jubilee thinks I'm cool. I mean, that's better than nothing. I told you, I'm Dazzler. <laughs> Not doing so hot. Iron Man, get in here for the assist. Uh, hey, Iron Man. Oh, oh man, did I hit something? Ah, oh, please be a raccoon. I've run over so many drifters this week. Oh my god, are you drunk? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Blood alcohol level 0.15. I can't believe you're off the wagon, Stark. After everything you went through to beat alcoholism. Hey, if I was drunk, could I do this? Hey Jarvis, do the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U. Come on, that's Jarvis. No, no, it's totally me. I just sound classy and uh, British sometimes. Z? Alert. Liquid contamination in pelvic region of suit. In English, you soulless robot Hugh Grant wannabe piece of shit. You pissed yourself. Again. Oh man, okay, come on. Let, let's get you a cup of coffee before... <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, the puke's coming up my nose. It burns. It smells and it burns. Just take off your helmet, man. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Huh? Yeah, I reveal my secret identity. You're Tony Stark. Everyone already knows that. Uh, I, I think I'm going to take a nap. Fine, go drown in your own vomit. I still got another assist. Jill Valentine, get in here. Anyone want some herb? Are you high? I'm looking at a guy in a spider costume, a guy in a metal suit, and a giant monster. So you tell me. Fecal release complete. It's time for the two of us to finally face off. Me, the powerless but brilliant billionaire against you, the righteous, all-American super-strong dude who dresses in blue and red. This conflict is gonna be so unique! Uh, excuse me? Huh? Who said that? Me, Iron Man. Sort of facing off with Captain America here. Whole Civil War thing we got going, if you don't mind. I mind! The Batman minds. Yeah, it's just, we're two iconic heroes in our universe, and our differing ideologies have finally brought us to blows in an incredibly dramatic fashion, so... Excuse me? That's our thing? We're Batman v Superman? You mean versus? No! I mean V! As in, I'm v him! You know, because it's the dawn of justice. Um, if I could just say something... Shut the f*** up, Hope Man! No one's coming to the theater for you. They come for me, the tortured badass who uses his company's technology to- Yeah, this is totally the same thing that we're doing, except, you know, we're doing it good instead of the way that you're doing it, which is awful. No, uh it's not the same at all, because you see, my father- Uh, let me guess, he died tragically, and the trauma that resulted shaped your entire life. Same Z's. God damn it. We also uh, built up to this moment over the course of years and multiple films by fleshing out both characters and our relationship with one another. It looks like you're just opening with this. If I might interject for one No second. one asked you! Oh, Man of Steel was garbage! Why didn't you save your dad? Why would anyone be mad at you for saving your dad? Well, it's not exactly the same. There is also going to be a major comic book heroine. Ahem. Who will eventually get a feature film of her own. Oh, dang it. Go ahead, mortals. See if ye can lift the mighty hammer of Thor. <laughs> Only the worthy, aka me, may wield me on Earth. <laughs> oh, man. Look at Cap go. Huh. Neat. Good. Captain America? You're worthy? Well, yeah. I sacrificed my life to stop Red Skull. I was frozen and gave up everything to save the world. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Uh, still, no one else can we wield Tony Oh, Stark Man! Aw, what? Sure, I'm a little snarky, but I'm constantly risking everything to protect the world and those I care about. Fine, whatever. But- <laughs> No! No freaking way! I'm a completely regular dude with no powers, special abilities, or robot suits, yet I fight alongside others who have all that stuff, thus risking my life- Way more. Ugh! Is there anyone here who isn't worthy? 
I genuinely believe I could end wars between nations if I were the ruler of Midgard. And I have risked my life to stand by my convictions. And I volunteer at the homeless shelter on weekends. Oh, this is bullshit. This is my city, and I will protect it from those who seek to destroy it. I am the- Batman! What? You're blind, and you use sonar to see. Just like bats. Batman would be the perfect name for you. No, 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 no. I'm blind, and I prefer the night. Just like daredevils. Finish this sentence for me. Blind as a- Daredevil. <sighs> Why daredevil? Like Evil Knievel? Do you, like, do tricks and stunts on a motorcycle? Well, uh, no, but I, I have- I mean, that guy should be called daredevil. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider? What kind of name is that? Well, I'm a former daredevil who sold his soul to the devil, which is how I got the name... Ghost Rider. Yep, story checks out. Okay, let's start over. Ghost Rider, you're a daredevil beholden to the devil, so you're daredevil. Duh. Daredevil. You have sonar like a bat, so you're Batman. Hey, he can't be Batman. I'm Batman. I'm a billionaire whose parents were tragically killed. Also, I'm super jacked, just like bats. Rich, no in-laws and a rockin' body? You should be called my boyfriend! Hey, old Batman, I can hear you getting a boner. Shut up, new Batman! Oh my god, new Marvel movie. I've watched every clip, interview, leaked photo, and have basically pieced together the entire film already, but I'm still so pumped. Yeah, I saw a couple commercials. It looks pretty good. Oh my god, is that- Oh my god, it is! It's the part from the comics! Um, okay. Psst. That's Stan Lee. I know, it's really conspicuous. Every time. Hey, that was pretty good. Psh. They did it so much better in the comics. Wha- what's happening? I have no idea what that post credit scene meant. That post credit scene was amazing! So basically Thanos is trying to get Infinity Gems from across the galaxy so he can make the Infinity Gauntlet to impress Lady Death. I'll send you 12 Wikipedia links- Ugh. I bought every comic from the Civil War event so I'll be totally ready to get- <laughs> No. The movie's gonna be completely different from the comics event. Like, they're just using the general premise. There he is, our greatest nemesis, Dr. Doom. I'll show him. That's not Doom, Johnny. It's... Vox Studio Executive! Richards, you arrogant fool, did you really think you could escape my binding contractual agreement so easily? Two crummy mid-2000s Jessica Alba movies? And one of the worst, most mismanaged reboots of all time? Does your cruelty know no bounds? Please, let us return to Marvel! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're trapped at 20th Century Fox for the rest of your pathetic lives. But why? The last Fantastic Four movie- Uh, uh Fan Four Stick. Uh, because it's spelled with a four instead of an A. <sighs> but Fan Four Stick actually lost money. We're not worth anything to you. Just give us back to Marvel, like Sony. Ever! Marvel would make you look fantastic. Look what they did with Spider-Man. In 15 minutes, they nailed him better than Sony had across five movies. The MCU made Sony look like fools, and we at Fox will not be made fools of! You're crazy, Fox Studio Executive! Crazy like a fox? Studio. Executive. <clears throat> but perhaps you would rather I let you go elsewhere. To Warner Brothers? No, please! Anything but that! Damn it, Fox Studio Executive. You win. We'll do fan four stick two. Uh uh. Fan five stick. Five is the number after four, so it's fan five stick. Uh, damn it. I am Magneto, master of magnetism. Who dares stand in my way? The Avengers are here to stop you. For when I throw my mighty shield. Really? I'm the master of magnetism? And you just hurled a metal frisbee at me. All right. Well, Bucky will. Oh God, my arm! My completely metal arm. Oh, I should probably warn Tony. <laughs> wow, that guy was literally encased in metal. What, what, what else you got? Uh, uh, some kind of robot who's made of metal? No, that's okay. I'll just hang out here until you need me. Foul villain, prepare to. 
Oh, my freaking nards! Ha <laughs> ha! Hulk doesn't need metal to stop you, Magneto. He's pure brute strength. Oh, look at the big strong man here, getting ready to beat up an elderly Holocaust survivor. That make you feel big, huh? Hulk no comfortable attacking Holocaust survivor. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. You win, dude. We're out. Most impressive defeating the Avengers, but... A metal glove! Oh my god, you kept the most powerful objects in the universe attached to a metal glove? This place sucks! <sighs> Kevin, I wiped out half of our life to solve starvation. I won! <laughs> Anyways, I brought us coffees. Half cream, oh. half sugar. Perfectly balanced. Kevin? Kevin got dusted. I'm Devin, your new villain consultant. I don't like cream in my coffee. Oh dear god, I'm out! Kevin! Welcome back. You want some coffee? It's perfectly bad. You got rid of half of all life to solve starvation? What kind of nonsense, Malthusian bullshit is that? No, no, it makes sense. Resources stay the same, there's more to go around. Maybe in your goddamn fantasy land, but not in the real world. Do you know what actually causes starvation? Gonna be honest here, uh, not really. Supply chains! Planes, boats, trucks, and you have just fucked all of them! With your little snap, thousands of planes fell out of the goddamn sky! Millions of cars just lost their drivers and crashed into other cars that may have still had their drivers in them! Trains derailed, entire shipping vessels lost their crews. In other words, you just disrupted every major supply chain in existence and probably caused more starvation than you ever could have prevented. Earth had more than enough resources to feed everyone, and people still starved because things got in the way of supply chains. War, trade disputes, poverty, corporate greed, and now a purple dipshit who buys into discredited economic theories. All right, I get it. I'll undo my plan. I'm sorry, cream is fine. I like cream coffee. <laughs> the old Thanos would have seen two cups of coffee and three people and decided to kill one of those people. But now I know there's a better way. <laughs> now, I never told anyone this, but the gauntlet? Very itchy. Hey, buddy. Sony and I wanted to have a little chat with you. As you know, Marvel and us have had some disagreements as of late, and, well, we wanted you to know that we're separating. Separate? No! No! You can't! Spider-Man? Was it something I did? I promise I'll be better. I'll do whatever a spider can. No, pal. You've been great. You made us so much money this summer, and we could not be happier. The problem is, Marvel wants a bigger cut of your money just because he lets you play with his toys while we do all the work. Hey, I made him a goddamn Avenger. If it wasn't for me, you'd still have Toby dancing on tables, or the sad kid from the Facebook movie skateboarding to Coldplay. What do you care what happens to Spider-Man? You're barely around ever since your new kids from Fox arrived. Who's the cutest little profit generator? That's right, you're the cutest little profit generator. Add the dentium. Look, this was never going to last forever. Let's just appreciate what we had and move on. But, but you promised you'd take me to Wakanda. <laughs> You promised you'd let me punch Galactus! I know I did, and it breaks my heart that I can't follow through on my promise. But I don't want you to worry, because I'm gonna be just fine. Seriously, I am pumping out movies left and right. We got something coming out called The Eternals, and I have no friggin' clue what it's about. Not one. All I know is that is gonna make another billion. Up top. <laughs> Aw, oh, stop crying, buddy. I'm sure Sony has something really fun and exciting planned for you, right? Uh, you know, we've got some stuff we're throwing against the wall, still trying to figure it all out. Uh, do you like Jared Leto? Because we have Jared Leto! <laughs> well, this has been fun, but I just found out I'm buying Batman from DC Comics. See ya, dicks. But I believe rules. 
Hey, Webhead. How about after you clear the table, you help us fight Carnage, huh? He's played by Woody Harrelson. The guy from Cheers. <laughs> Swip. <laughs> hey. Hey. Open the door. Please? Just open the door. What do you want, Marvel? I want you back, Sony. I want you and Spider-Man back so goddamn bad. Just, just let me in. No, we're not putting us through that again. It was too hard. But I love you, baby. You know how I get around Disney? It will never happen again. I, I, I promise. I promise, promise, promise. That's what you said last time. But we know you've been with Star Wars. We've heard the rumors. Psh! Come on, that's not even... Those are jokes. Those... Psh, like, I would even... Daddy, are we going to the club or not? I told you to wait in the car! Oh, fuck you, you asshole. <sighs> How rude. Who the hell was that? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I've never seen that person in my life. Good night, Marvel. Hey, you need me. You need me just as much as I need you. You I mean, just look at just look at what happened to little Spidey since I left. Leave me alone! Ugh. Not to mention the trash you're letting him hang out with. I'm staying at Leto's! Swip! Can you walk on water? Uh, he is the absolute worst. Awful. Okay, maybe you have a point, but we can't handle another reboot. How do we know you won't hurt us again? I don't know. What am I, a goddamn fortune teller? Forget it! No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... Sony. I promise, I will always be there for you and Spider-Man. You know, until he becomes less profitable. Okay, you can come back. We love you, Marvel. I love you too, money. What'd you say? What's for dinner? <sighs> Soon I will collect all six Infinity Stones, giving me powers unlike the universe has ever seen! <laughs> yes, so great Thanos. Just like Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, just like... Wait, what? Sonic the Hedgehog? Sega Genesis game? What, what do you mean? Oh, of course. How silly of me. It was called Sega Master Drive in Japan and Europe. No, 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 not the issue. You think I stole my Grandmaster plan from some 90s video game? I mean, it's about a bald guy trying to collect six special gems. You're a bald guy trying to... Do you see where I'm going with this? My enemies are a fast and strong blue guy. He's the leader. Well, then there's this flying guy who's like a mechanic. Uh, and then there's this piece of eye candy with a big hammer. Well, well, the last guy's totally different. He's got big fists and loves to smash. Oh, shit. It's just Sonic and Friends, isn't it? Kinda sounds like it. Wait, 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 wait. There's gotta be enough differences. I mean, it's not like the blue guy has some mirror image dark haunted edgelord who, whose main thing is he uses guns and serves as an antagonist before becoming an ally. Oh, god damn it. The Winter Soldier is Shadow. Never mind. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Everyone's just gonna make fun of me. Hey, buddy. What if we just wipe out the 50% of the universe who remembers Sonic? Oh yeah, that's, that's actually, that could work. Take that, Thanos. Oh wow, I wish I could look like a superhero. So you wanna look like a superhero, huh? Captain America? Wow, you're my hero. You sure you wanna do this? More than anything, Mr. Captain. Are you really sure? Then you're ready for the superhero workout. <gasps> In just five easy steps, you'll go from dud to dude. You're hot. Wow, a boy. Step one, simply beat out thousands of talented actors in an excruciatingly long casting process to star in a major Hollywood blockbuster. <laughs> But I'm not an actor. Step two! Take an entire year off and spend every waking minute working out with an Olympic caliber trainer that the cell phone company that's financing your movie is paying for. <laughs> the grunts means it's working. Step three! Have a world-class chef prepare every single meal you shove into your body. Children are starving all over the world. What? Step four! Then the best doctors in the world will cosmetically fix your face and body in ways fitness and nutrition can't. Unfortunately, it won't fix what's broken inside you. Uh... This feels dangerous. Hey, I never said this would be easy. Yes, you did. Step five! Eat my strength! Wow, I look great! 
Thanks, Cap. Step six! Oh, I thought it was just five steps. Step six, shut up, we own you now. I, I want my mom. Squats are your mom now. Here, shave off layers of skin to become more. Vasculin. Lunches, protein, drugs, that V-shaped thing that points to your dog! I can't believe it. My life is hell, but I look amazing. I'm ready to be the next superhero. At last, the curse has been lifted. Wait, what's happening? So long, sucker. I can finally start directing indie movies. How do I get back home? Can I have your autograph? Hey, do you want to look like a superhero? Next, make sure you take off your belt, empty the change from your pockets. Sorry, had my adamantium keys in my pocket. Let me just grab them with my claws. Hey, yeah. Yeah, never mind, it's fine, go ahead. Alrighty then, let's just take off your glasses and read this line here. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I, I think it was A. VQ. Sorry for interrupting, but there seems to be a- ah! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry! Whoops. What do you mean it's not enough pouches? Mr. Cable, your suit is already like a 90% of pouches. I can't even put any more pouches in it. God damn it, Joe. Do not make me go back in time to murder your parents before you're born. Just put more pouches on my shit, okay? Okay. Fucking Robert Liefeld. Today the world was saved by Spider-Man, Captain America, the Fantastic Four, and other beloved superpowered beings. In other news, the Mutant Registration Act passed because for some reason we only hate and fear superheroes if their superpowers are genetic. Can't really explain why. It's not like we actually know how Spider-Man got his powers, but it is... What it is. Are you having Ugh, we have to get a new publicist. Hey, Ghost Rider. Oh, it's uh, it's Daredevil, actually. I'm taking the name Daredevil now. Oh, yeah. That would make a lot more sense for you, huh? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here, actually. I think I should have your logo. What? You should have the skull logo instead of me? Why? Um, yeah, you're right. Honestly, given your whole vigilante anti-hero vibe, it's a little weird you have a symbol at all. Did you go to like a branding workshop or something? I was a marketing minor in college before my family was killed. You know, for my part, I just think your logo should be like, I don't know, maybe like a gun or something. That makes way more sense. The skull is yours. My new symbol will be the bullseye. Because I use guns all the time and I'm taking aim at injustice. Nine. If anyone has a skull logo, it should be me. See mine face? Be 24 7. Yours can go off. What's this I'm hearing about somebody else using the bullseye logo? Don't make me take your ass to court. You don't even use guns, though. You, sh you throw, like, ninja stars and pencils. It's the principle. Um, we should probably just all get a lawyer. Help sort this out. Does anyone know a lawyer? Oh, I know one. I. Oh. Yeah. I might have burned that bridge. Mr. Jameson, I've got four exclusive photos of Spider-Man here, and they can all be yours for $400. Get out of my office, Parker! I don't need your overpriced, suspiciously shot photographs of Spider-Man anymore! I just found out old Webhead has an OnlyFans, and it's only $10 a month! Oh, wow, so you... you found that. Yep, and he'll do custom stuff for cheap! A $20 tip will get me basically anything I want! He's probably just trying to pay the bills. It's very expensive in New York City these days, uh... Mustache underscore ride 69 has tipped you $20 with the message spread mask on. Okay, that's not on the menu, but uh, hey, Mr. Jameson, do you mind if I use your closet for a second? Yeah, whatever. Stop bothering me. I still think having a professional photographer- Oh shit, he did it! Now I'll ask for a pic of him with webbing all over his face. Just splattered all over. Do you really want that? Yes, I need it for professional reasons. Big story! I just need to think of a headline with the word webhead. Oh, I got one! Oh, it's a dirty one. Mr. Jameson, maybe, uh, maybe you shouldn't 
be wasting your money on stuff like this? Oh, listen to Mr. High and Mighty taking cheap shots at sex workers online. The most vulnerable class of workers, constantly facing oppression as acts like Sesta Foster take away their legal, safe ways of supporting themselves and force them deeper underground into more dangerous situations to say nothing of how they build platforms like OnlyFans and see sex work as the first item on the chopping block when investors come a-knocking. You should be ashamed of yourself, Parker! Huh, that is surprisingly empathetic of you, Mr. Jameson. Mustache underscore ride 69 has tipped you $50 for a... What's white symbiote goo? What? How'd you hack Spider-Man's phone, Parker? So, 2014 era Thanos transported to the future. You got anything you want to say? First of all... Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna interrupt you in a second. Keep talking. Okay. I think it was a pretty good plan. No, it was not a good plan. Know how I know? Cause you died. Luckily, I have a buddy at the TVA who pulled you out of the timeline. Well, what should I have done, huh? You saw a video of everything that happened in your own future. You had a perfect blueprint to work off of. You could have just followed things through to your regular future and then used the stones differently if you felt like it, shred the universe to atoms or whatever. Instead, you created an alternate future where you had no idea what was gonna happen. And what did happen? Mm, oh, you got erased from existence. I could have just watched the video and handled things slightly differently. But then I would have had to wait, what, like, four years? Do you have any idea how rare it is that a dead villain gets to see a video of their future self getting murdered to speed up their character development and motivations? Uh, actually, I, I do work with this guy Loki that that also happened to, but, but still, it's pretty rare, and you wasted it! Look, I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? And if you couldn't wait, why did you Hey, this you is so awkward. I gotta get out of here. Rainfire! But, sire, your Hyundai Elantra. It's in the parking lot. And it's, it's brand new. new. Just do it. Don't you see? I am inevitable. And I'm adding this to your bill. I am here for the anti-life equation. <laughs> You're looking for a math equation. What a nerd. What impudence is this? Also, what earth is this? I should not have let Anti-Monitor give me directions through the multiverse. Anti-life equation, Anti-Monitor, your universe has the lamest naming conventions. What are you, anti-Thanos? You copied me! No one cares, math nerd! Watch your tongue. Or I shall call upon my lieutenant, Granny Goodness. Oh, your grandma? I thought you were lame before. Gonna call Granny on me? Oh, no. She's actually cool and scary. Okay, w wait till I find that equation. You'll see. Uh, what's your deal anyhow? Some kind of grape-flavored version of me with a fancy glove? What? Nuh-uh. I mean, yes, my glove, a, a gauntlet is very fancy and has lots of pretty jewels in it, but but it's also, uh, well, with a snap of my fingers, half of all life will disappear. Oh, I think that already happened. Wait, what? Yeah, Batman, Superman, and Cyborg. Half of the Justice League, just gonzo. Oh, was the universe grateful? Not really. Plus, I think they're all just getting replaced. Huh. Bummer. And if you're gonna bust out Granny, what are your lieutenant's names? Call Obsidian? Proxima Midnight? L-O-L. Those are some goth-ass middle school AOL instant messenger names. Shut up! They're totally cool and badass. All right. Have fun with Sephiroth underscore Darkness 666. <laughs> That is a super sick burn, and normally I'd be pissed, but I am very into how perfectly balanced this is getting. So glad to be here. As you know, I just had another adventure with my friends and family where we defeated Kang. Probably. Super pumped to talk about that rousing adventure and anything else Ant-Man related you want to rap about. I'm charming. Let's do this. Yes, you. Timothy Breaking News, World Weekly. What are you going to do about the giant frozen robot in the Indian Ocean? I, I, I'm sorry, what? The giant frozen robot sticking out of the Indian Ocean. You know, it's tall enough to reach the end of the Earth's atmosphere, visible against the horizon for two-thirds of the planet, come on! Oh, wow. Uh, I have yet to hear of this? 
but I'll get right on that. Margaret News, Earth Times. Are you stating for the record that an Avenger, one of the world's mightiest heroes, didn't hear about the planet-altering frozen robot that destroyed our oceanic ecosystem and wiped out most of our marine life as well as the planet's food supply? No, I didn't. I... I mean, did this just happen? It happened two and a half years ago. Rumor is it had something to do with the Eternals, but uh, no one seems to know or care about them. Yeah, I never heard of them either. But it, I mean, is this that big a deal? <laughs> it's not like we're dealing with another blip or something, right? Four billion people are dead. Shit, really? Most of Asia has been destroyed. Africa will never recover. Oh, Africa. There you go. See, Black Panther lives there. Shouldn't Black Panther be handling this? She completely ignored it. Namor didn't do shit about it either. And he's like, the ocean guy. So I should fight Namor? What are you going to do about the frozen robot? Right, 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 right. This is a job for Ant-Man. Is there a GoFundMe or Kickstarter? Maybe Patreon, something something like that. Raise some some cash to, to deal with this. Maybe throw some cash at it. No, I'm just, you guys aren't replying. So I just, no, I guess not. Okay. Um. Just shrink it down, Ant-Man. Take the big thing and make it small. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll see what I can do. Although honestly, we'll probably just never bring it up again. Or Deadpool will say something about it to the camera. So we're all like in on the joke. Anyway, let's move on to the next phase. Of questions. Does anybody have any more questions that aren't about the Earth-killing robot? Finally, thank you. What's your question, my good sir? So is a wasp really into QAnon? Uh, <laughs> she might be in here right now somewhere. Hey, this is Mike from Dorkly with some big news. Dorkly is now fully independent and we're bringing weekly videos back. We've got brand new originals, plus we're continuing some old favorites as well. And since we're independent, we need help from you, the fans. Any support you can give really helps us keep making stuff. So consider checking out our Patreon. We got a ton of cool stuff like exclusive Patreon originals, early releases, behind the scenes videos, comics, giveaways, special merch, access to our Discord, and a bunch more. All right, now it's time to think about some more stuff from 2010. Tron Legacy, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Internet Explorer, eh. Yeah. 2010.